Hi, welcome back to the WordPress tutorials for setting up your SLCC ePortfolio. Uh, last time I showed you how to set up the welcome page and to type text and headings and also to upload pictures onto your pages. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be going over how to set up the general education page for your ePortfolio. So we'll go ahead and go into general education onto that page and we're going to click on edit. And now we're given our text box, so we can start uh, typing text into that. First of all, we want a heading for the general education. So let's go ahead and type that in and, um, and make it a heading. So give it our biggest font. Maybe change the color. I like red. Um, center. And then under this heading, what we're going to do is type in a list of all the gen ed requirements uh, for the SLCC uh, degrees. So we're going to go ahead and start then with um, the list. And by the way, you can find this list in the ePortfolio Student Handbook. You can also find the list in the General College Catalog. And the one that I'm going to be typing in today is the, are the Gen Ed categories for all Associates of Science and Associates of Arts degrees. And these are degrees that transfer to other institutions. If you are in an AAS program, the Associates of Applied of Applied Science program, your list of requirements will be different than these and you can also find these in the college catalog. So, but let's go ahead and begin typing them in. So we have got composition, that's the first one, and that's a little bigger than I want it to be. So, let's do heading two. I like that. And then quantitative literacy. American institutions, lifelong wellness, student choice, computer literacy, biological sciences, Fine Arts, Humanities, and again, you can. I, what I'm doing here is I'm just simply typing in those categories. We're going to be doing stuff with these, uh, with this list a little bit later, but right now we just want to get the list written out. So, Physical Sciences, Social Sciences, Interdisciplinary, diversity and if you're pursuing the Associates of Arts degrees only also foreign language and you can play around with the formatting of these uh, I might change the appearance of these a little bit by going into here and maybe going down to heading 3 I think I might like that better yeah, I like that better. We also want to add another section right below this list called electives. And so let's go ahead and type that in and make that its own heading. Change the color of it. And below this section, uh, we're, I'm going to go ahead and list up any electives that I take. And I don't know yet what my electives will be, but as I take courses that aren't filling the gen ed requirements, but, but that do fill elective requirements, I'm going to type those in below this electives here. So now that we've uh, written this all out, uh, let's go ahead and update and see what it looks like. Before I do that, I want to remember to unclick the allow comments and the allow trackbacks and pingbacks because I don't want a comments window at the bottom of that page. I'm going to go ahead and click update now. I'm going to visit the site. And go into general education. Oh, 
and th those are actually bigger than I wanted them to be. So um, let's go ahead and just fix that really quickly. I'm going to go back in and, you know, I scroll down to the bottom of the page and there's that edit button. So we'll go back into the edit and we'll quickly fix that. And again, this is part of the, you know, the limits of the formatting capabilities for this site, but, you know, not a big deal. Just fix it. And maybe we'll just do regular text. So let's update that. And visit the page. And here we go. So here's our list now. And now as you take courses to fill your gen ed requirements, you're going to be putting a signature assignment and a reflective writing into your, into your ePortfolio for each class. And you'll be doing that on a separate subpage. And I'm going to show you how to make those subpages in the upcoming tutorial. Uh, once we've got the subpages set up, then I'll show you how to turn each one of these categories into hyperlinks that you can click on to go to each of the subpages. So that's what we'll do in the upcoming tutorial.